My name is Xamarin. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this gameplay video and deciding to watch. We are back with more Dang the Rumba Trigger Happy Havoc. We are just about to kind of start the trial. Uh, we have no fucking idea where Kyoko is, so that's weird. I don't know what to do. Um, I can only assume she's the killer because she's obviously not the body. So a lot is going on. I'm really confused and scared and I feel very underprepared. And I have no idea what half of these like bullets mean so we'll just have to see so i'm interested to get started hope you guys are as well so without further ado let's get started okay so let us go i am sincerely unprepared for this i have no idea what's gonna go down whoa the yaki and the photo showed up together where the heck have you two been you just disappeared without a word they're investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? The photos ranked high enough for you guys to go off together? Just the two of you? What? Are you jealous? Hey. Or are you making some kind of creepy fantasy of yourself? What? Stop talking. Embrace yourselves. He'll be here any second. Any second. He could show up at any time. When I imagined that was about to happen, I immediately tensed up preparing myself, but... We stood there for five full minutes waiting for something weird to happen. Five minutes became ten. What the hell? What's going on? Why hasn't Moko shown up yet? Could it be? Maybe he died again? Hmm. What should we do? We should keep waiting or... <laughs> or what? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why'd you waste my time and make me wait like that? Hmm? What? I made you wait? You got all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. What? In other words, I wait for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here now, can we? Mm -hmm. So Kyo yeah, Kyoko's not dead then. What are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, but you're wrong. Yeah. I've been waiting ten minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making all this right, right? We all agree it's a violation. I'll raise the punishment right now. If it's m it's obviously Kyoko. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard the voice, we all spun around to look. I'm here. And there's no room and broken. Kyoko! Ah. Kyoko, you're still alive! No, that's a g -g ghost! Stop talking. Hmm. If you want to fight, do it at the classroom trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being linked? Is that right? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? <sighs> you're so selfish, so spoiled! You're right, there's no penalty officially, but I bet you'll be sorry later. She no, I'll make sure you're sorry later. Anyways, hustle your bus. Let's on to the elevator. I'll be one step ahead of you. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed to Kyoko. Kyoko! So you really didn't die! Mm -hmm. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay. Perhaps that's not necessarily as good of a thing for us. Huh? He's right now, we gotta deal with the ghost! <laughs> I told you to stop talking. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Whenever we need to discuss. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped onto the elevator. <laughs> Master, you won't wait for me? Um, Good call. Who knows what might happen if we wait take hi. too long. I'll be happy when this trial's over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator, but I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the class trial started. Hey, girl. Like, where you been? Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't right. you? I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. Yeah. I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now, I finished my search and came back, just in time to hear the classroom trial announcement. Took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to the trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you're late. However, I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then what's the key you found go to? Actually, to be precise, not quite. I used Murakuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Oh. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry up! Makoto. We can go over all the details after we get through the trial. Okay, Makoto? Right now, I want to focus on surviving your current situation. 
It would seem... Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her. That's a strange way to put it. Class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Goodbye. Well, if that's all... Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Weird. Really weird. Really, really, really weird. And the door slid shut. Hmm. God, there's like no one anymore. Oh, this elevator used to be so full. Nobody said a word. We just stood there silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warnings. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes, but it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was a blinding light of despair. Whoa! It's so different! I've been waiting for this! I feel like it's been forever since we all got together like this! This time for pointless jokes and jabs have been passed! Let's get on with the show! It's so brightly colored. Why is it so brightly colored? Deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Yeah, let's just start. I have, I'm really going into this one blind. I'm not gonna lie. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. Okay. If you can figure out who done, who done it, it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, okay well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. Okay. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. Yeah, it's logical. Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Kyoko's alive, you fucking idiot. But Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost. I hate him so much. But she has legs and stuff. <laughs> well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. Can we just kill him off, please? There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Yeah. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Yeah, that's easy then enough. Let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Yeah. Her traits? Uh. Gloves, because we have no idea about the face. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. Yeah. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? Yes, he told us. In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh. Oh. Well, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Correct. It probably just got burnt up in the explosion. Nah, there were some long ass, like, fake nails. You can't wear gloves with fake nails that long. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. Please stop calling her a ghost, you fucking idiot. There's no way the corpse was Kyoko. I can't prove why we're gonna be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to. Fake nails. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Uh, wait, is but that what I want? In the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves. Before Maybe I should listen to this instead of trying to just pick yeah, it. She must have been wearing gloves. No. No, it's wrong. Okay, good. Oh, I'm glad I didn't pick the first one. <laughs> no, I was a little scared there for a second. No way the corpse was wearing gloves. Yeah, because of the fake nails. Whoever it was. They were wearing fake nails, remember? Really hard to wear gloves with I them. I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Yeah. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. Don't yeah, that's true. Man, you don't know women, huh? They're 
complicated like that. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Yeah. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily <laughs> life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't yeah. fit properly. Okay. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Just that simple. Which should have been obvious since she's standing yeah. right here. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. Okay. That's the first thing I said. You're oh. the one who's been dragging us around in circles. I hate him. Identify the victim. Everything can stay here. Okay. We know who the victim is. Uh, exploded body analysis, maybe? If Kyoko really is still alive, then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I need to listen to this. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Yeah. Well, if we can't identify the body... No, no, we can't, we can't. We can do, right? Okay, it's uh, Hina's the second to the last. Okay, second to the last. Got it. Uh, tattoo. Oh shit. Okay, guys, still hit. I was gonna say, I was like, no, wait. There was one clue left behind that yeah, we used to identify the body. What? For real? The tattoo. Ryan, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. Togo. Cruel and unusual death. This I gotta see. Yo. Stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of yeah. my neck. Yeah. Oh yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. What the fuck, Toko? Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Compare the tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should become clear. Um, this? Yeah, because uh, it says she was a part of the group. The yes, okay. Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Mukuro, 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 Mukuro. Okay, so to show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Yeah. Fenrir? Fenrir. Oh, that's how it said. Fenrir. Image. A wolf? Oh my god, the yeah, wolf. Wolf, I need an F. Wolf. This was the worst hangman's gambit of the entire game. Are you joking? Why did they give me so many letters? Oh my god. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf beast. Hmm. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female oh. giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. Yeah. Then that means exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf, which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. Yeah. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? I mean, yeah, that's what we thought. <laughs> But you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? You know we have to have a cool ass trial. No. Kyoko must have killed and thinking that them, Mukuro right? Was the mastermind at all? True, true. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems 
like a pretty mastermindy title to me. But they are. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. Yeah. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Oh! That's what you told Makoto, right? Uh-oh! So that means... Yoko got it wrong? Mm, who was she? Who hmm. was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed! Yeah. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. <laughs> so you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Yeah, honestly, that's a good point. Then, who's the real mastermind? It must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. But Kyoko said it wasn't. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. Why is she so against that though? She like will die on that like but pedestal. How can we trust that. We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. Part of it was true. The information was not wrong. Okay, okay. We're in the huh. middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit chat as much as possible. I uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this: no matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. Oh. Damn. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. <laughs> now then, okay. just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. I'm aware. Now that points straight into your big old brains. Can do, buddy. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? So, hmm. one of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along! I don't think so, no. though. There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events! Seriously? Then, one of us killed Mukuro? It's me, it's Makoto or Kyoko. <laughs> Did it! Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. I guess We've maybe Toko. Everyone else is pretty clean. I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the Makoto and Kyoko, obviously. I got it. You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, yeah. I went to the garden, so I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. Yeah. However, Hiro, Toko, but the and I were in sprinklers. the gym the entire time. The gym? That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. But Hina was alone in the... All of which is to say, the, the four of us all have alibis. Dining hall. The only ones without alibis... Are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Yeah. Exactly so. Thank you. God damn it, I can't let this stand. Somehow I have um, to clear my name. I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Oh. Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took yeah, place. Yeah, 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 that's fair. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well... It was after nighttime for sure. So yeah, it's ten. It must have been around ten o'clock. Ten p.m. So the murder must have happened after ten p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body. Yeah. Oh, but what time did we find the body? 
one who saw the body first was Toko, right? But she went to go get the I think if she, she yeah, she must have passed out when she saw it. Uh that was at 9. I got it. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Yeah. Yeah. I love that line. That's so funny. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 yeah. in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. Okay. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We really yeah. see each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh, yeah. Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before so I the sprinklers so totally would have sure about it. immediately gone off at 7:30. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7:30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Okay. The sprinklers we need then, obviously. That's the only thing that can like. Save us is at 7.30 time. Yeah, sprinklers. Cool. Okay. I figured we need sprinklers. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. Okay. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, Correct. 10 o'clock to 7.30. 7.30, sprinklers? Commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. Uh... We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. No, it's wrong. Okay, good. That was right. I was like, shit, do I need to do 7.30? Okay. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had yeah, to have taken place way later. Sprinkler would have gone off. What makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning. Yeah. Right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30... It would have been wet. Then it should have been completely soaked. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. Remember what? The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. Yeah, we threw the bucket of water on it. You say only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words? Mouth down south? Ew! I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? We threw water on it. Denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? No, Toko. Can we get Genocide Jill here? If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, you We need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers so that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence, and that should do it. By itself, that should make it clear. Well, it exploded. Oh, God. I admit you nothing. Where's my R? I don't know anything! Hold on! Are you trying to blame me? I admit you knew nothing! Are you ah. trying to blame me? I admit you knew nothing! I mean, hey, ah. No, no, no! I don't know anything! Ah. Got it, okay. How can you say it was? Yeah, exploded body analysis, yeah. Woo! 
Okay. Just remember what the body was like Easy after breezy. the crazy. And you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. We're an ace at this game. So talented and the top half just of the body amazing. Was wet. Yes. <laughs> but the Yeah, it was dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet. Shouldn't the whole body have been wet? Yeah. So they only got the top wet. The bottom was completely dry. What a brutal maniac! I'm so sick of her. <laughs> you know? Let's just move on. Yeah. The reason only the top half was wet was because I splashed it with water. While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. Yeah. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, yeah. then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? Yeah, it's looking like Kyoko. had an alibi after all. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Bye, Kyoko. Sorry, bitch. Yeah, no, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko murdered I'd someone. I'd just like That's... to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why oh. I can't let that happen. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. I mean, I believe that, but like, girl, I'm not going down for this shit, so... This is a trap Sorry. Mind has laid for us. Oh! A trap? Well, okay, I'm cool with that. We're this far into the game, and now you decide to blame me? Hmm. Stop wasting time, stop wasting energy. You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you. <laughs> you got it, boss. Shutting up now. Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind it. Oh, uh, so true, she yeah. Her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So, that was her motive? Hmm. If she had a motive, and no alibi, well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. Hmm. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. What?! Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet. But that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What? Why? What? What are you? Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, she's right. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck the tarp. That's where the fucking tarp comes in. Ah. Fuck, Kyoko, why is she fucking trying to throw me under the bus? Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with the Oh, spice. she's such a bitch. Why is she throwing me under? I was kind of throwing her under too, so I guess I like get it. But like, why, bitch? No, I don't want to condemn my own self. Why, why? I don't want to condemn myself. You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? Oh my god! You catch on quick. You catch on quick. Me, 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 me. You're right. <laughs> All you'd have to do I'm a is child. the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. Okay, okay, okay. The use the tarp to keep the body what from about the soaked. duct tape, though? 
But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In yeah. other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Oh! Why would Kyogo say that? Because she's a bitch! How does she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? But the body... Wait. Something's not right. And what might that be? Can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone will think I'm the killer. And I don't want that. I have to repeat what Kyoko said. Okay. Body before explosion. Fragment. Hmm. By covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty! Didn't get dirty. Uh, body. By covering the body with the tarp, body. The killer prevented it from Before getting explosion. So the the tarp was and we the want the last. Since it was facing down, of course it didn't get dirty. No, that's wrong. Cool. Okay. Okay. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Mm hmm. Because the blood was yeah. dry before the body got blown up, right? The it's still so wet. Himself, not to touch it. Or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, yeah. it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they used it. But it was still dirty. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. I hate More it. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Oh? What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? What? You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? The nurses still? Oh, no. They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? Yeah. He pretended to be dead? No. That's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Oh! The chicken! The chicken! And... The chicken. I got it. Clever, I clever it. girl. Chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? Yeah. When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, goodbye, there were fifth five chicken. Chickens. Bye. After the murder, there were only four. Sad life. So you're saying someone killed a chicken and they covered the body with its blood? Man, that's messed up. Can yeah. A living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten. Oh, is that what the uh, bloody uh, uh, duct tape was then? I I'm still I very confused. The killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Yeah. Perhaps. But even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? Yeah. But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But 
That's not what we saw. Yeah. The victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree. That Isn't the coat strange. on that body like backwards though? Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? No, it was backwards. Um, I think so. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Oh. Then that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time. Oh, Hina. What settles it like that? wasn't actually wearing Here's the coat. Happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off, but the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Okay. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they'd already covered in blood. Hmm. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. Okay. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. Hmm. If that's ah. actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But uh oh. To pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. But they already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. But Makoto was Maybe. with but Hina. Hina. After you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Yeah, didn't oh, we? Oh no, I headed off to the gym. And oh. I show up till later. Oh, I went. I thought I helped carry her. I thought I helped carry shit with her. You had plenty of time to oh, spare, fuck. wouldn't you say? Kyoko, stop it! I'm yes, gonna no, fucking I... blame you, Kyoko. I'm fucking. You I'm fucking coming for you, girl. You're fucking done. You're done. I'm co I'm coming Don't for her head. It's not possible. I'm coming for her head. How dare you? So rude. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. The suspicion falls back on me again. Why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Huh, okay. Well, then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. God damn. Serious, man. Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50 50. Yeah, odds. let's do that. I'm the ultimate lucky oh. student. I'll survive. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't oh? just stand there. Out with it. I know that knife we found all burnt. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They know it's the knife that I had. The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? Fuck. I was hoping no one would notice. According Fuck. to the Monokuma Fuck. file, Fuck. the knife Fuck. was all the Fuck. way through, Fuck. from Fuck. front to back. Fuck. 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 So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. No, you haven't. Shut up. I'll kill you too. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remember it. Oh no. Oh no. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? Oh no. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you hide that fact? It's not I didn't that I hid it. find it necessary just... to talk about. It was stolen. Yeah. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Uh oh. The found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Uh oh. I'm totally convinced he did it. I don't want to die. I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. How do we do that, Makoto? How do we do that? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is long. 
Makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed yeah. is what killed her, right? Getting stabbed. So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. Mm, what no. a you okay. Getting stabbed though, I think maybe we can work on something there. The knife okay. found in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. Uh, no, 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 the stab wound isn't yeah, what there was a uh, head injuries. That should be clear from the description of the cover up we just heard. Like an iron pipe, they said, Lies. or something. We never talked about what killed her. No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp and then put the bloody coat on it, right? Yeah, in other words, the victim never wore that blood stained coat until after they were dead. Yeah, okay, fine. So what? So. When we discovered the body, but we saw them wearing it in our dream. Thrust through the coat along with the body, meaning if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Yeah. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. No. Yeah, in the Monokuma file. Yeah. I got it. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Only one, bitch. Oh, yeah, <laughs> See that? Only that. one. Only oh, fucking one. Then the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. Yeah. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. And I think that's the bomb we saw too, right? Are we gonna touch on the that? Explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. Yeah. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. Yeah. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Yeah. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but I? what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bother to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the oh. answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle cause an atomic uh, combustion. I hate him. I hate him so much. Every time he talks, I just feel dumber. I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Oh, girl, drag him. Fucking drag him. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. Uh, the bomb? Do we have the bomb? No. The fragment, then? I got it! After the explosion, okay. we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Yeah. Huh? No. I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. That's yeah. only natural. Because, of course, we saw the, the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. Oh, then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Yeah. Anyway, 
The culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. Yeah! The only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible yeah. suspect. Yeah! Fucker! Kyoko, I still love you, but fucker! I ain't going down for this. Why are you defending her? What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. My god. It's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. She's being really quiet now. Okay. I'm gonna clear file five. That's all I got. I feel like when they only give me then one, that's my key to debate? absorb. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yes. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, uh -oh. on a Kuma file. That's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Yeah. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Yeah. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to okay. be Okay, okay. So, I need to get the head absorbed. Oh, sorry. No, I meant to absorb it. Oops. Whoops. Oops. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Misclick. Just misclick. Shall we continue the debate? Okay, so... The victim's fatal injury has yet to be no, Thank God. Okay. Oh, the absorb ones freak me out. I'm like never sure if that's what I'm supposed to do. Girl died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. Yeah. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it. The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Yeah. Okay. Then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. Yeah. Then, what was the murder weapon? So like an iron pipe or something? Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe. Oh. How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it encased their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. Yeah. No way. The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. Ow, girl. That's deadly. Yeah, I bet you just hit me with a metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground, and, and spit on it. Okay, Togo. <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We do? We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Have I? Oh, the titanium arrows, maybe? It's gotta be. That's the only weapon we have. The fake nails! No, it's the arrows. Are they here? Ah, oh, yeah. It's gotta be the arrows. It's the only other weapon I have. And that's what killed her. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Yeah. Arrow. That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Yeah. Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, 
agreed. Yeah, it does. I'm so confused too. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just saying what I think. One more thing. One more secret. Okay. What's the the secret? Titanium arrows, I would assume. Oh no, the duct tape. Was the duct tape on there? Yeah. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Yeah. You don't sound convinced. Oh, do they duct tape them all together? Oh. We duct tape them together. Yes, but we duct tape them together, and that's why the duct tape was bloody. Ah! Makes sense now. What a weird fucking weapon. You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. This is such a weird trial. It's cool, but weird. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also yeah. found a balled up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Yeah. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. Yeah. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak. You put them together, and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Good. That's harsh. That was even harsh. Are you even listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. Yeah. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, uh, Kyoko. Uh... I've never been to the dojo. That's a lie. We've been in there with you. I literally remember saying, yo, Kyoko, what if we kissed under the cherry blossom trees in the dojo? I remember asking you, girl. I wouldn't remember. I wouldn't forget that. Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. Uh -oh. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. I'm not covering for her. Remember? I'm not covering of for her. Of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Yeah, the, uh... I'm not covering for her. Hell no. I'm not dying. Roadblock key. I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo lock. Yeah. And how does that prove anything? It was in your room. Because I found it in your room. Bum bum bum. It was in my room? Why she sounds so surprised? What the hell? The what is going on? Dumb. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away. So I am just give so up. confused who it second. actually is. Not this again. Uh, you really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her. It's mm. just... She does seem genuinely, like, shocked. I get it. I get it. There's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... protecting you. Oh. What? She was in there. Huh. Oh. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. 
But aren't you? I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. What? What does that mean? What is happening in this trial? My head is hurting. What is happening? When the body was found. Okay, we have one again. Obviously, I must absorb one again. Okay. Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. Not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Proof? Uh, Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct? <gasps> oh! Could I really have done that? Oh shit! Okay, yeah. So proof, absorb. What do you mean? Exactly what I. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something. There's proof that you are the culprit. Proof. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime and then left the locker key in my own Locker key. Oh, not that. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Opposite way? Opposite way. Opposite way. Opposite way. Opposite way. Opposite. 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 You aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? Opposite. You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dark and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct? Locker key in my own room. Could I really have done that? And then hit that with proof? Those words you just spoke. Exactly what I- I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than- yeah, yeah. Master would need never- There's proof that you are the culprit. Oh, okay. No, okay. Okay. Because okay. there's literally only three yellow words, like, or phrases. So I was like, ha! Ah, killer is not it. Wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Yeah. Huh? Why not? Because she had given her room key to Biakia. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your mm. room, then obviously I had no way of getting in. But how'd you get into Makoto's room? Without my room key. I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? Hmm. It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. Damn. I don't want to die. I'm still the guilty one here. I not, I'm not dying. Yeah, because she got into my room. So obviously she can get into her own room too. Cause she got into my room. Try to try and save herself with such a desperate lie. Does she really feel that threatened? Cause she's the killer, or is it something else? Was well, there some deeper meaning hidden in what Koyoko said? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of the school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. Trying to trap Kyoko, but what if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I? That's my trap. The victim was Muruko, and Kyoko killed her. What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who? Who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. Well. Doesn't Monokuma know who actually killed Mikiro? Mukio, Mukio? So if I save Kyoko, we all finna die. And I don't want to die. No, I'm not taking that danger. Girl, we're all gonna die if I pick wrong. So it's not even worth it. Girl, girl. 
Run away! <laughs> I don't want to make a decision. I'll just run away. No! Okay, no! No! I'm not... We all, we're all gonna die if I don't say it. Avi. I don't think that's... I don't think that's helpful. We're all gonna die. No! Pursue the lie! Hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. Yeah, she got into my room. The bitch is lying. Oh Take her down. Isn't that right, Kyoko? You said it. The burden of proof is on you. So let's hear it. Where's this lie, then? Deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. Well, the lie was that you said you couldn't get into your own room, but you got into my room. I didn't have the key to my room because I'd given it to Byakuya. Yeah. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Yeah. And when we searched Kyoko's room, how else could the key have gotten there? Someone other than me must have put it there. That's the only explanation. Uh, fuck. What do I pick here? Yeah. I didn't have the key to my room because I'd given it to Byakuya. Yes. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Ah, there's so much shit there. Okay. When we search Kyoko's room, ah. how else could the someone other than me must have put it there? That's the only explanation. Okay, okay, okay. I okay. didn't have the key to because I'd given it. There's no doubt you are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. No, that's wrong. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, no! You're lying. No. Kyoko could have gotten into a room. Yeah. You said so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? I use Monokuma secret tool, which can open any lock in school. Mon yeah. Secret tool? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school. Bye, bitch. Which means she could have used it to get into her own room. Then I guess that's it. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing- Oh, wow. No, I'm simply recognizing that I lost. Oh, what well, good. Talking about? Like I said, this was a trap, and I wasn't able to escape it. What? So I lost. Yeah, don't fucking blame me That's next time. Huh? Then, are you saying you really didn't? What? Yoko, you really aren't the killer? Okay, time's up. Wait, what? Uh -huh. I'm sorry to say, but your time is up. All done. All finished. The class trial is all over. What? But that's ridiculous. Since when is there any? It's yeah, seriously. We were late, so the trial started late, and time ran out. Oh! Then it's time for voting time. Okay, this okay? feels really weird. Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. But I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? <laughs> Kyoko, Avi. Okay, this really felt odd, but okay. Sorry, bitch. I'm not dying. They're gonna blame me if they don't blame you. And I didn't do it, I think. <laughs> You got it right. Oh, so she did kill him. Cool. Brilliantly right. We got it right? Does that mean Kyoko really is a killer? But something strange is going on. Yeah, this feels weird. Kyoko. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Everyone ready? Okay then. Everything we've got. It's punishment time. I mean, I'm really sad that Kyoko's dying, but I'm not fucking dying. If I die, like, 
We can't keep going. I'm the main character, girl. Like, I can't die. I have to live. Oh shit, she really dies. Oh god, she actually dies? Oh god. Oh, she's like an- Oh. Oh. Kyoko, I'm so sorry. Oh, I immediately feel really bad. school lesson oh boy oh yeah she does have long purple boots I thought she did oh god this is really hard to watch I really like Kyoko That's how the class trial of Mirko Kasabi came to an end. Still had to wonder whether Kyoko is actually innocent or not, regardless the truth was lost forever, even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of Mirko's class trial, and in the end it would prove to be our last class trial. Oh! Once the case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope Peak ever again? What? We had attained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. What the fuck? Peace, but only inside the school. Wait. Why is it? Wait, what the fuck is happening? What is this? What am I looking at? Um. Um. Wait, hold on. Okay, number one. Toko died? Why is Byakuya so happy? Look at him, he's so happy that she's dead. How did she die? Number two, holy shit. Poor Hina had to fucking reproduce with every single guy. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Oh, so I kind of like that Hiro was the last one she had sex with. Because <laughs> their child's the youngest. I like that she was like, nah, I'll save you fucking for last. So it looks like she got with Byakuya first, and then Mikko. Oh no! <laughs> or was it the strongest egg that survived? What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this the end? Peace, but only for us. That was the only hope we had. Hope. Hope. Hope? This is hope? No! This isn't no, right! No, this isn't right. Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? Her claim? I have to... Do I expose Kyoko or not? Oh, did I make a bad choice? Did I make the wrong choice? <laughs> I fucking have to die? Is that what the game is telling me? I'm dying? But my child was the cutest child with Hina. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I guess we, we let it go? Or we run away? I guess, what happens if I run away? Let's just let it go. I don't want to redo this trial. Let it go, I guess. I made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that she has to do with the mastermind's trap well, that Kyoko mentioned. Does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. 
I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. Okay. Who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you yeah. so But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. Yeah. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Yeah. So someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think Dakota. of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. Yeah. But it had to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. How does this work, though? Does Monokuma not know who the real culprit is? Wait a second. Or is this all You've just a ploy? All Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. Yeah. You all see it, don't you? Lukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. Yeah. And Kyoko even said it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be okay. Oh, he up. does this in this one too. Oh. God damn it. Time's up. Class trials all over. Everyone can stop talking now. What? Time's up? Oh, look at Makoto. He looks so scared. What do you mean time's up? There's no time's up. Oh, that's cool. I like that Kyoko says it in this version. Because you were late, so we had to push back the start oh. time. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? So I die? Please vote using the lever in front What happens of you. then? Time. I'm so confused. What happens? Oh, well, we got the... Okay, so this is what we're supposed to do. Cause we, act we actually got the rank this time. Where last time we got um now, nothing. Who will be chosen as the hmm. back end? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully How wrong odd. one? Hey, hold on. Oh, Makoto. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Do I have to vote for myself? Oh no. So now it's us. I like our little chibi picture. It's so cute. Well, I look grumpy, actually. I look really grumpy. I'm about to die, so yeah, I'd be grumpy. What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. It's all your fault. It's all your fault, Jaffa. Everyone, you're wrong. You got all wrong. I didn't do it. Good job, everyone. Good job. Yep, they got it right. No, no, that's not true. None of this makes sense. The whole trial doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials. And I'm going to end it the same way. It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment. Wait, why do I... Kyoko, what the fuck is with that face? Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got. What the it's fuck? It's punishment time. What is my punishment going to look like? Hers was like a classroom. What's mine? What's mine? Yeah, this all looks more official. Oh, we got like cool music going. Wait, is this the same that Kyoko was in? Oh, weird. Why don't we get personalized ones? That's kind of sad. This uh, this execution is brutal, by the way. I would hate to be, like, crushed alive. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, this all looks the same. That's cool. So, we're just gonna die? 
She even said, like, I don't expect you to forgive me. Like, what? What the hell? I'm just gonna fucking die. Uh, really? <gasps> oh shit, Alter Ego, what the fuck? This is Alter Ego. Yeah. Alter Ego? Is that some stupid virus from that stupid guy? Yeah. He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all the hell, I don't believe this! It seems, it seems you finally made a miscalculation. <laughs> no, he miscalculated from the very beginning. What, the heck? what was that? Oh, what I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you talking like you've already won? the thing it looks like a pinch an inch the stupid virus is gone now god so Makoto is maybe i didn't get to smash him but, but you're never gonna see him again to waste away in the garbage strewn pit in a way that's an even better special punishment <laughs> beep, beep, beep. but it's still not enough i'm still not satisfied i'm still gonna bring this bear to the rest of you bring this bear to the entire world beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I like where this turned. Uh, um... Is he gone? <laughs> hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? In other words, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What, what did you say? So you'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. Hmm. Okay, well, I like the happy music. That's positive. It's like the school stands the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy it brings in top students. Okay, what the fuck are we doing? We'll be set for life. Hundreds of years. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm aware. I'm aware. The attending high school two years to be your very best. No ordinary student can enroll here. Yeah, I know. I'm the ultimate lucky student. So, uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of the hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. Wouldn't it be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class, but whatever. But what was I doing sleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Whoa! Finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together, and then I was awake. Is this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench of my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in the vast, dark caravan with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. It was just a kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in, but... That was just the beginning of my problems. Was I gonna be struck it, stuck in here till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I learned all too well what had happened. Yeah, there you go. He used up a little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. With that, my pursuit of survival began. First up was to start looking for a way out of here. Look like I'm 
literally on the ground. Okay. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. It's a rocket in a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Yeah, that's a little concerning. What's that? Airplane? What's something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? I guess the door? It's locked. No matter how many times I push, pull, or kick, I didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all around. Ew! But that was pointless, too. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all around? Bad idea. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm locked in on all sides. That's still not enough reason to give up because, because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. So making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was sleep. Go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but... I think at least a full day had to have passed. All I did was sleep and sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Exactly. It's gotta be the Monokuma uh, key that Kyoko found, right? Oh, garbage. I watched the pile of garbage. Odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Garbage. Did just fall down. Stretch my hands towards it. Just a second. A giant piece of trash. Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Kyoko! Hey, what's oh it smells awful. <laughs> hey girl, hey! Kyoko! You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are so... you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I came here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then hey. face me again. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you! That was very nice. Snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Then seconds, it was in my mouth, making its way toward the mass stomach. Phew, that was... Really hit the spot. Now that I've got my energy, I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up yet? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all mm. I'm good at. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Hmm. Well, I guess we talked to her, huh? But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue so... me? To pay a debt. Or, no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew I did nothing to help you, um, I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. Yeah. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However. But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason I had to survive, no matter what the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to In survive words, is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. So you have some reason for coming to Hope's Peak? Indeed. That's right. At least I did. Once. Once. I... Up until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot, but that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amnesia? Forgot about that. Then, is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? First thing. You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted. When I woke up, I was trapped there. That's right. I fainted too. And when I woke up, 
I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I came to school. I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what makes you forget all that? Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... <laughs> I don't think I am positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. Interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure she's the ultimate detective, so it makes sense why they'd want her to forget that. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose, my ability. Somehow that would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from you? However... It could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help why you? That? If I did that, we would all work as one. The mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. What? Well... Don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we couldn't ignore it, right? Mastermind one of us. It could be. Hopefully it's not Hero, or I would probably drop this game in a heartbeat. If Hero's the mastermind, I will literally not be able to finish this game out. I would be so upset. I hate him so much. She believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone. In which case, it only makes sense she would look into her missing memories by herself. However, that being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. Why well, I me? Mean, because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but... I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way any ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I Aww. understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Yeah. It's just like the dream I had before, but when did that happen? Listen. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help right, the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. Okay. I, do we keep talking? You said you had a reason for doing all that, investigating on your own, so how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall- Oh! You are! What is it? You mentioned your ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known for me. She is the ultimate detective! Oh, I knew it! She's just like way too comfortable around bodies and shit. And once they kind of start dropping that in there and she's so good at investigating, I was like, she's gotta be the ultimate detective. I guess I can't be the ultimate detective because Kyoko is already the ultimate detective. They can't have two ultimate detectives. <laughs> ultimate detective. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak. There was someone I had to find here in the school. Who's that? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster. Why'd you want to find him? Because... Oh! why she was so certain the headmaster wasn't the one behind this cause she kinda knew it was her dad even if she didn't like remember that fact yet she was like no it can't be him uh... <laughs> I get it now in other words I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak's headmaster. Then that explains when Alter Yugo told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I... 
Uh. I. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I... My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That However. makes sense. But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear. There's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said that... What... I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. When... What did you so... see? The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I'd found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Is this some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entire entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Mirko's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for facility use. Some of the staff members had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if it were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to collect. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However, but once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. Hmm. So what was it like, that part of school, I mean... It's hard to describe. All I can say I... is, the moment I saw it, I realized whatever's going on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get a chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important and really ominous. Hmm. Why does it keep stopping? Of course, once I get to the second, there was no cameras, which is why I had... Oh, what was going on with the rest of the building? Has to do with Mirko Kusaba, doesn't it? Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So who did kill her? Yeah, seriously, who the fuck anyway. killed her? What can I say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mirko Kusaba was to get me killed. Oh, to frame her so they had a reason to kill her that didn't go against the rules, technically. Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared in retaliation. They wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense, yeah. Rule number four. In other words, the mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use a class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by school regulations. So that would make them a student, then, if they're bound by the rules. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Muko Ukusabi. What's that? There was one point where Muruko may not have become the victim. Could it have been you, Makoto? I could have become the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, in your dream Makoto obviously how can you remember almost dying like what the fuck bro how can you forget that during the night I I can hear them you know the footsteps of the god of death what I can hear the god of death as he moves that ability naturally draws me into cases just like anyway. this which is exactly what happened with you I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread I looked down the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I gave chase right away as I followed it. I saw the shadow go into your room. 
Correct. Okay. I ran to your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However, that wasn't the end of things. I stopped them, but that led to whoever the masked assailant was. They ended up dead. Correct. Their murderer was disguised, and the JoJo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind. An attempt to use the classroom trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Maruko is the mastermind? Miyukuru. Miyukuru? I don't have the conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. That's really bad if it's true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want when they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use a class trial to try and kill you because they, they couldn't Correct. interfere. You're right. That is a contradiction. It's not just Mikuru. They needed the classroom trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did was a contradiction. So, what does it all in mean? Words. It means the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. Ooh! The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mikuru was ultimate despair. And that she's dead. I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Huh. It's not. Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused the event. That's You're talking right. about what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Whoever's responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair? That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then, there, make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. Hmm. That is the ultimate despair. That is our real enemy. Hmm. Interesting, 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 interesting. Dream Island Rocket. Thank you, I think. Five alive. So, okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Huh. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. Those people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway. Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, gosh, I think this is probably the best place to stop for today. Um, I'm not sure how much more of the game we have. I would assume probably enough for maybe one or two more episodes, I would think. Not sure. Um, it's just starting to feel like we're coming to an end. Uh, we seem to have a lot of information, so I'm interested to see what will happen. Okay, so uh, we got through that classroom trial. <laughs> Makoto almost died, but he didn't. We got a bad ending. There was a lot happening in that. <laughs> um, I definitely enjoyed it. It's definitely interesting. Things are getting so juicy. So I'm definitely curious to see where we're going to go and what's going to happen. I would only assume we're very, very close to the end, so I'm not sure, um, but I'm really excited. I like where this game has taken a turn. Um, things are a little bit plot mcguffin -y. like Kyoko being like, I can sense the god of death was a little weird. So it's definitely all very interesting. I definitely want to see how it all ends. I am just saying, if Hero is the other mastermind, I'm done. I'm writing these games off. That's what I'm saying. If Hero's a mastermind, which dear God, I hope he is and I don't think he is, but if he is, I'm like done. I will not. I, I don't think I could keep playing these games. I'd be so frustrated because <laughs> he's so dumb and I hate him so much. <laughs> so if he is a mastermind, we're done. I'm just stating that on paper right now, video, whatever. <laughs> but I'm very excited to continue playing. I hope you guys are as well. And I'll see you all in the next video. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Bye!